Oh boy. It's Monday. A little quiet Monday. Relaxing Monday. The kind that you can ease into or ease out of, depending on when you actually watch these. But anyway, here we go. Decided. Change it up a little bit. We are doing Macedon Macedonia. And I don't know how well I'm going to do. So, so I've been here a few times, two total, and I haven't been everywhere in the country. So it's going to be a little hit or miss. Um, we'll see how we do. We got a Bulgarian archaeological site. And also, I don't know if the person who did this map is trying to be cheeky as well and go with like, well, official Macedonia was a little farther south, you know. There's there's a bit of a debate between the Greeks and the, well, North Macedonians, I guess they're calling themselves now, that original Alexander the Great Macedonia was a little farther south. Uh, it's a whole to-do if you happen to uh, have some spare time and are a little curious. Just know that uh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a uh, sensitive subject, you could say. All right, I'm going to put us here. I think we're near one of the borders. I don't know yet. I have not been to this part of the country, so this could be a little hard. What does this say? They do use Cyrillic. Um, I was able to read... Not completely understand, because what's new? Um, a lot of the things in uh, Macedonia, like there's like one or two letters that are a bit different, but again, I can pretty much get it. S-R-E-K-E-N. Pat. Seren Pat? Like, I'm thinking this is near Bulgaria, but I really don't know. Uh, Let's... Kind of just put us here, like in Makedonska, whatever. <laughs> yeah, the the only parts of the country I've actually been to have been Skopje, um, Okrid, which I believe is down here, Okrid, excuse me, Bitola, and I think that's it. And I've really not gone to this part of the uh, part of the country. Um, I think we went from Skopje down. When we went to Greece, down to here, and I think to this. This finger? Yeah, Calithea. That's where we went and stayed. But we're going to see if I can do good. I am uh, cautiously optimistic, but it looks like I cannot go certain places, so we're just going to go about this roundabout. Hopefully see something to help me, but I'm, I'm not that optimistic on my abilities here. I just assume we're in the western, the eastern part of the country just because it said Bulgaria. We'll see if I'm right, as we do in actually less than a minute. Anyway, how was your weekend? I, it was kind of relaxing. Did some walking, never got, didn't get to hike because the weather was actually bad. We had a pretty good streak of nice Saturdays, but then it finally rained. Decided to take a little bit of a walk in the morning instead. I uh, went to the woods, got super bug attacked, and I said, well, fuck this, so I'm going to walk on a street. And mind you, this is uh, just before 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I just never can sleep past, like, 5, maybe 6 if I'm lucky. And, uh, ooh, no, I almost thought this could have been... Okay, we're getting... Oh, this may have been, if this was helpful to see a little sooner, but I'm going to say that I kind of got, at least on the border, we'll see if I'm right. Nope, we were very much near Shtip. Shtip? Yeah, I'll take it. That was, that was a bit of a guess. And again, all of these are basically going to be super guesses, because I've never, the only time we've actually traveled between like the cities I was not paying attention really and the other time I was on a bus. So we'll see how uh, badly I do. But if you're curious as to what uh, Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia, excuse me, Mas uh, actually this used to be part of Yugoslavia, what uh, Macedonia looks like, you're going to get a look. But anyway, this weekend, um, 
just around 7 o'clock, so I decided to take a little walk, and then someone decided to have their dog outside, and this dog was going absolutely apeshit. Just bark, 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 woof, woof, bark, woof, you know? And to the point where whoever the dog's owner in the house just came out and just yelled at the dog trying to get him to be quiet. I felt a little bad that uh, this dog potentially could have woken people up on a Saturday super early, but then again, it's not my fault your uh, dog was barking away, but it just kind of turned what I thought was going to be maybe like a half hour stroll to, well, I don't want to walk back past that house this early in the morning and have the dog go shit again, so I decided to turn it into a like an hour and a half, maybe an hour loop, just because I was just like, ah, I don't want to deal with it, and it was just easier. Is that a road sign or is that farm equipment? Farm equipment, okay. Hmm. But here's the countryside of Macedonia. It kind of reminds me of Greece. Maybe a little bit of shrubland. It gets hot here. This guy's got his car very much covered up. Cute. Um, see, the two times I've been here was in February and it was also in September. And oh boy, September was hot. The February one, I was perfect for me. It was maybe 50s around there. I mean, you can go to sweatshirt and be just fine. Come on, get me something I may be able to recognize. Okay, here we go. Sirna? S C R N I K. Okay. But I would recommend this place, but again, I've said it before. You really can only properly recommend a place. Uh the only ugh, start again. It only really works for me just because uh I know somebody who's Macedonian and they speak the language and had a lot of friends there, so we hung out with them, so it kind of made it a little easy. But if you know, okay, Cernik, C-R-N-I-K, let's see if I can't find it. It's always helpful to at least exploit your friends who know the language and go hang out and see a really cool country. Some really great food. Moonshine kicked my ass they had there. I, I mentioned in the previous video, I believe, about the uh, Rakia. Good stuff. Vodno. That's the big giant mountain outside. It's got a crown on top of it, I believe. I think this is a tiny enough little town that it may be hard for me to see this. And since we didn't go down the side street, maybe this sign has... No, it's just the speed limit. Okay. All right. CRN, I, I got to make a guess here. Sveta? No. Ohrid? No, no, I don't think I'm going to find it in time. I feel like this is a super small little town. I'm just going to see it in the last second. We were actually over here. Oh, Cyrnik, zoom out. I had to be this close to see it. I'm, like I said, going to be bad scores <laughs> until I see something I recognize, which could very well never happen. Just because, um, it's been what, maybe four years since I've been here? I don't know the next time I'm going to go. My friends are going back in September, and I don't think I'm going to go with them. Just because vacation time, I don't have that much left. Let me see if I can recognize. Are we in Skopje? These are basically the houses they have for you. A lot of, uh, Cinder block and some fancier, fancier looks. Oh, they actually have a yard here. Good on them. A lot of people more like utilize like this. See, this is all grapes. Like maybe they'll park here, but then they'll put a garden on top. Everyone's got gardens. All the food's great. You can get skopska or shopska, which is basically cucumber, tomato, uh, some onion, and you put a little uh. Goat cheese with some olive oil, it's amazing. You can absolutely make it disgusting and ruin it by putting black olives on it, but hey, you do you. Um, 
I've said it before, you know, the best hamburger I've ever had was in this country. I think I may have pointed it out in a previous video. But if we actually get to it, what do we get? Industrial zone for what? Is this the town? I don't think it's the town. Uh, Macedonia. R E S E N. Resin. Hmm. Give me something I can work with. We're going into an industrial zone for what? Is this actually Scopia? Like, is that their coat of arms? None of this is really, like, jogging my memory. This can be a lot of places, and I'm not really seeing that. Well, there's the big mountain. Oh, it's actually a, a big mountain, excuse me. I don't think that that's the one that's outside Scopia. Let's see. Let's back up a little bit. Let's see if any of these signs might help me here. What do we got? We got the center. Oh, Ochrid. Okay. Culture House. Centaur. So I th think we could be over here. Although I'm not seeing any, uh, actually this may be the mountain we're looking at. Although I'm not seeing any water, which could be a problem. I'm going to put us there. And, uh, I've been here, but it's only like the certain little resort water, part of the water. We're going to go this way. Try to head towards where the water is, if I can get there in 53 seconds. This is a pretty little resort town. Nice, uh. Um, restaurants, pretty lake. I think it's the city of a thousand churches, I believe is, is what it's called. Some nice old architecture. Uh, I think we ended up getting this random guy just turned into our tour guide during a construction area. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. R P R Pespa. Hmm. Maybe we're not. Let's back up here and see this. See this sign. No, no. Come on. All right. Ohrid is that way in Centaur. Hmm. Ah, see, this is what I was a little concerned about that we were going to be off just a bit. So I kind of saw Mountain. Oh, it's Baba Mountain, I guess. That's what that was. Okay. All right. I don't think I've been on this road. Like, I've been here and I've been here. But never, I don't think, from one to the other. I don't know. Okay. We've only got two more left. I don't know if I'm going to come across it. I'm hoping I might. This might be Scopia. Actually, let's let's see. I'm trying to get like uh, out into a non side street, but this kind of reminds me of some of the side streets we hung out in. Uh, Scopia, like one of our Airbnbs, was kind of like a down a road like this. But now I feel very much trapped, and I want to get to. Okay, here we go. All right. I was able to do it. Let me go forward. Thank you. Let's see. Get me to the road. Okay, we are... Shit. Um, hmm. Let's go this way. I, I want to just try to get outside. Not in this little town area here. I, I think this is another dead end. Yeah, this is also a very common thing, is a lot of Albanians in Macedonia. They like putting their flags everywhere. Remember that made my Macedonian friend a little miffed. Hmm. All right. We're going to go this way. I see a road. Okay. All right. Donor. We got Burger Bonnie. Okay, we, we're on a little bit of a road here. I think I might know where this is now. Although, I okay, that is a mosque. 
down there. That might be the boob mosque, if I remember right. There's like one mosque. I think they, the tour guide, we went on one of like one of those fancy double decker type tour buses in uh, Skopje, and it was a uh, tour guide talked about the guy who designed the mosque made it look like boobs, and I guess they called it the boob mosque. How do I get stuck down these side roads? I wanna let me be in a main thoroughfare. Cause I see I believe that's that's it. Like I think it's gotta be. And they're doing a whole restructure of the city here that uh putting stuff in the water here, big center like center little thing stone bridges there's like a giant statue of uh alexander the great here okay i'm gonna try to orient myself here where was the mosque oh yeah mother Teresa hung out here too the mall is massive been there okay we're gonna go this is the main road, and it's kind of off one of the roads here, I think. Oh, God, it's been... I'm trying to remember. Okay, we got Ministries of Defense. There's a Holocaust Museum around here somewhere. If I see that, it'll kind of help me orient myself. Hmm. Let's see where... All right, where is the American Embassy? That will help me. Because the American Embassy is kind of near the where we are now. Maybe it's here? No. I don't see a mountain. The mountain might not. Yeah, I'm not seeing the mountain. Man, where is this? I, I think I guessed poorly. No, we were actually in the northern part of town. Okay. Let's see if any of this stuff I recognize. Because I've been around this town, this city. But I'm not seeing that mosque around here. Hmm. Oh, wait, maybe that's it. That could be it. That doesn't seem right. Uh, my orientation is terrible, so let's take that with a grain of salt. Well, at least we got one within the city. Let's see what this sign says. Radovis. I hear, I've heard that word before. I feel I've heard that word before. I may have worked with somebody who's from here. I don't know. Is there anything else that I've got so far off track? I forgot to babble about dumb shit that I did over the weekend, but I guess it's not that important. The important thing is trying to find Radovis, which may be difficult. Why do you gotta blur it out? That would have helped me so much. Okay, in Nevo and Counts, any of these? In Nevo. See, I would ask my friend if she knows where this is, but she is probably not awake right now. Counts? Counts, okay. We've got a little bit of a... Um, what's the word? What's the word? Uh anchor to kind of search around. Cones in Yevo. We got cones here. I'm not seeing in Yevo. There's in Yevo. Radovis. Okay, so I feel we're on the A4. Where exactly? I don't know, but I don't think I've been to... Yeah, that's in that part of the country I've not, not been to. Okay, let's see if I can't figure it out a bit better. Got Nievo. R A D O B I S H. Radovis. Vich. Yeah, that's that right here. Hmm. Uh, weekend was great. Uh, yeah, a lot of walking, hanging out, doing nothing. Okay, we're in the municipality of Radovis, so we've just crossed into it. I'm gonna say. Here. I'm actually going to go forward and turn around to see if I can't see what the municipality sign is for 
we're going into, but that really depends on if this place cares as much as Radovis does for letting you know when you've gotten to their municipality. I don't know. I don't think we're going to see it. Unless we go a little farther, maybe we will. Or not. Eh, I guess Radovis only cares. I could have been helpful to kind of figure out what side we're on if we're over here, if we're over here. Well, Radovis, a. Hmm. Now I'm going to stick with this. I'm feeling confident. All right, I'm going to leave us where we are and have a nice chit chat. The. Uh, I do have my uh, book all set for Act to Jesus. It's going to be July already, isn't it? Uh, stuff coming in the mail. Do I have any goals for this month? I feel like I should probably try to get one. I don't know. I already kind of have enough as it is doing the book a month, hike a month, although I've kind of blown the hike the month thing out of the water, which I'm kind of glad with. Let's see, and uh, golfing has started again, although I'm bummed that the course that we tool around on is closing shop because not enough people play it. Golf's kind of an aging sport, and the people playing it are, uh, yeah, I guess we should have. Why would they say municipality even you have this Radovish this close? I don't know. Either way. Ooh. I am not happy with this score. I didn't even get over 10,000. For someone who tried to be like, yeah, I've been to this country. I mean, I've gotten scores on countries I've never been to before. I got no excuse here. But uh, that's going to do it for your Monday. Let this be the lowest point of your Monday as far as ambition or goal. I didn't really nail it this one, so just don't do as badly as me. That's your baseline. Anyway, uh, the schedule for this week is going to be a bit weird just because the 4th of July is this week, and I'm going to be doing 4th of July stuff when it's time, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, again, if you got any other comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, complaints about anything. You can do map suggestions, challenge maps, whatever you want. You want me to do a country, I'll try to do that as well, or anything. I'll get back to you as best I can. But uh, until next time, folks, have a good one. We'll see you soon.